Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Simon down here at my flat. Not sure what day of isolation we're at, but thank you for everyone that's been watching my recent videos. I know, I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, but just thank you for the support. And if anything, they're keeping me sane through this time at home. But today I thought I'd do something different. I asked on the community page, guys, what clubs are you looking for? What bargains are you looking for? What's your budget? What clubs do you need for your bag? And it's a good time to obviously have a look on the internet because obviously we've got quite a bit of free time. So I'm gonna go through today, answer as many questions as I can and give you my suggestions on what equipment you should look for, what price you should pay, and what kind of quality of clubs there are out there. So guys, if you wouldn't mind leaving this video a like, I'd be more than happy to keep doing these, give you your general suggestions, because this is as much as I can do when it comes to club reviews, bargain reviews, or whatever you like to call it, in this situation, and comment down below what you're looking for in terms of a bargain, and then if I um, get a good response, then we'll do another one of these videos, and we'll keep it rolling. So guys, thank you ever so much for watching, let's get straight into the video. Curtis Winnett says, Putter, would like a tailor-made spider, but second-hand, still around 70, 90 pounds. If there is a good alternative, but more on the cheap side, I would be interested. Now, Curtis, it's a good question. However, putters don't devalue that much, mainly because of the properties that they already bring, i.e. if it's in good condition, hardly any scratches, marks, looks good, then uh, it's going to be a good putter, whether it's three, four, five years old. However, if I was to look at like a 40 pound, 50 pound putter, that's face balance, very similar to the tailor-made spider, spider putter you have there, you can't really look past the two ball putter. <clears throat> now, for example, let's have a look. So like the tailor-made spider, if you find one for 70 pounds, you're doing them very well because they're very sought after, they're very good putter, um, and unlike most tailor-made clubs, they don't really devalue that much. Um, uh, but just having a look through, I've just put in putter, just a general line. Now you want a face balance one, which basically means it's got a good three, four inches to the back of it. Um, it just means that it's a very linear putter, you're not gonna turn the face much through your stroke, and also you're gonna have a high MOI, forgiveness, etc., etc. Now the kind of putter I'm looking for is, um, uh, the one that kind of started it all, probably the most famous, here we go. Odyssey White Ice Two Ball Putter, 34 inches, 39 pounds, buy it now. This is probably as good as you're gonna get in terms of a putter around about 30 to 40 pounds. Now, the condition of it doesn't look great, does it? And even then, this probably will sell for 39 pounds because putters are just so pivotal in terms of, as long as they've got a good weight to them, feel to them, length to them, and face, realistically, that's gonna be just as good until you actually get fitted for your own putter. So, I'd probably look at the Odyssey putter. You probably could find a better condition one than that, for example, um, uh, or try and find something to bid for. But in terms of face balance, cheap, good value for money putters, you can't really go past the two ball from Odyssey. Okay, so Yazid says, hybrids three, four, beginner golf for $70. Now, I don't know whether you mean $70 for one hybrid or $70 for both hybrids, but let's do both. So, for example, let's do both. So, hybrids, golf, this is my easiest way of finding cheap um, or wherever your bracket is in terms of budget. So type in hybrids golf, go buy it now. Obviously you're gonna get a better deal if you do an auction, but just for argument's sake of finding where we want to be, let's just do this. Um, best match, lowest price. So let's start at the bottom and let's work on our price up. So for example, £7.99, Pro Sim and Icon Hybrid, fill your boots, all right? However, we're probably looking for 30, 40 pounds per hybrid now, um, uh, if we're looking for both. So you get an idea of whereabouts you can, um, whereabouts the market is and whereabouts you can buy and what you're looking for in terms of hybrid. Now you want a thick hybrid for a beginner. So you want it quite chunky, quite um, big top to bottom. That's a great buy that is, Ping I-20, 24.99. Okay, it's seen better days, but do you really care because you've just started the game? It's actually in pretty good condition. I'd snap that up all day long. If I just literally started the game, Ping I-20, 24.99, you can't go wrong with that really. Um, uh, again, tailor-made. See, this here, for example, wouldn't necessarily be more for a beginner. Stiff flex, first of all. Again, good price. Condition, okay, it's gonna be somewhat suspect, but because it's actually quite a small head, front to back, and also you've got this weight at the front, which basically is dropping its CG to the front, that's for a more advanced player. So that's gonna be less forgiving. Um, anything with adjustability, so obviously you've got adjustability there. Again, that's gonna be bad for a beginner golfer. Um, uh, so you want basically no adjustability. It's gonna be somewhat offset just in the uh, nature of it and somewhat forgiving. That's gonna give you your two hybrids, your three and your four for about 20 
to £30, but then obviously like $70. Now there's two brands that I know when it comes to woods drop value more than most. So if you're looking for like a more advanced, more modern, let's say two years old, three years old wood, um, uh, that looks modern, but at the same time you don't want to pay full price, Titleist and Taylor Made are the two companies that drop value as soon as that club is hit. For whatever reason, probably because of the marketing, etc, etc, Ping Callaway hold their um, value very well. Titleist especially, but I don't know how their TS series is going to do, I imagine it's going to do better, but their 9, 10, 9, 12, 9, 15, etc, etc, 9, 13 I should say, um, drop value so quickly over the last year and they're good clubs but they just all look the same so I think that's why people didn't necessarily distinguish between the both so let's go to Titus Hybrid for your £70 or $70 bargain I should say if you just wanted one and then we'll go on to the next one um, uh, oh, wait a minute I meant Titus Hybrid okay so for example here we go 816 pounds buy it now or best offer so that's like a couple of years old now I know the condition, actually the condition is pretty good. Right hand, stiff shaft, but see how thick it is. You want the H1 if you're a beginner. You don't want the H2, H2 is not forgiving enough. You want the H1, 71 pounds, 59 pounds, 50 pounds. That's brand new, okay, it's big. Still got two days left on it. But you see what I mean. That's where I'd go down route. If you just want a forgiving one, get the bigger heads as a rule of thumb, um, and they are the way I'd find cheap hybrids or cheap woods in general. I'm just going to fire through a few questions um, uh, that people have answered. So, for example, John Bianco, just found a Ping Rapture 9 degree drive in decent condition for $50. Should I pull the trigger? John, 100%. Um, I'm missing a couple of Wilson Staff FG Tour V4 irons. I'm missing 8 and 9 irons. When you're missing irons, it's tough, to be perfectly honest. I mean, uh, you're going to be searching for a very long time to fit that set. I would... To be honest, you're better off buying a full set and selling the set that you've already got. You're more likely to fill your set that way, to be honest. Really want a Cobra F9 or Speed Zone, but can't find any for cheap. Or a TaylorMade driver that's not an M2. <laughs> you obviously, JT23, you obviously watch my channel as well. Um, uh, Cobra F9 or Speed Zone, um, uh, they're cheap as they're going to be. Like As soon as they come out a year, drivers do this. They come out drop heavily in the first year and then they kind of peter down for like the next two three four five years so you're either gonna have to get really lucky hope you bid on auction to get like a cobra f9 speed zone imagine cobra f9 you could probably pick up for 140 quid which is good value because you're not gonna need a new drive for the next three four years anyway so i would don't bother with the speed zone save yourself 70 quid go down the f9 route tailor made driver that's not an m2 because that's pretty much all i ever recommend um uh, i would say Mm, to be fair, you can pick up an M4 for just as much money. That's how much tailor-made drivers drop, really. Um, if you're going to go older, I would probably recommend R15. Juan Mar Alvarez, I hope I pronounced that right. Sorry if I didn't. Three wood for 15 handicap, around £50. <sighs> okay, let's go ping woods. Now, I know I said that they ping woods don't hold their value, like, hold their value quite well. So, if you're looking for a bargain, it's going to be difficult. However, the reason that is, is because ping clubs a very reliable, forgiving, and gonna last you a long time. Straight from the back offset, Ping I-23 wood, Project X stiff, that's for my bag that is. Are you a beginner, 15 handicap? If you're fast swinging 15 handicap, that I-20 is an absolute steal, if it's in good condition. No roof marks, that's a great club. To be honest, you could pull that shaft and sell that for 35 pounds itself. I like that a lot. But ping in general woods, all round, sounding, feeling, good clubs. It's going to last you for a lifetime. You're not really going to have to ever replace it. Um, uh, ping answer three wood. Answer wasn't the best range of ping three woods. They just didn't do that well. Just in terms of feel and sound. But again, for um, £50, I wouldn't... Would, Oh, I was going to say, if you could find, if you can find a G30 or G Series wood for £50, buy it. Just buy it, just buy it. You're going to be able to sell it for £70, £80 all the time. You look at this one, 89.99 G Series, five wood this is, by the way. It's got 11 people watching it, which means that it's got high interest. And this thing is nearly three, three years old now. You wouldn't see a tailor-made or tightless wood hold the value as that did, because that probably would have come out 140 quid. 
the Ping G series, whatever, you're gonna get a great bargain. So I'd go down the Ping route, I'd have a look, see that for example, one bid is 49.99, five wood, I know you're obviously looking for three wood, but that's gonna sell for 70, 80 pounds. But yeah, that's what I'd look for if I was looking for a 15 handicap of wood. So looking at a few more questions, Lee Beaver says, two wedges, 56 and a 60, would like the Cleveland CBX wedges. I have the 52 and I love it, and um, would like to match up all my wedges. Again, the best thing to do is just keep typing in Cleveland CBX and just check every day. I'd highly recommend, so let's go, one of the quickest ways I find, and I do this pretty much every night just to see what comes on the market um, for like my bargain reviews. So for example, you go Cleveland CBX wedge, that looks filthy, whatever that is. Wow, um, uh, I'd go newly listed, I'd go buy it now, because then you can snap it up straight away. For example, if someone's just clearing the garage, or whatever, they don't particularly know what they've got in their hands, I'd go buy it now, and just keep looking every night. Every night, have a look. I don't know whether that's something you're looking for, for example, um, but that's what I'd do, and just keep refreshing, because yours is quite specifically, um, and I'd keep doing that, and hopefully, after a while, one will pop up on a 56 or a 60, and then you can snap those up. Um, I'm looking for, David says, I'm looking for an adjustable strong 5 wood or 4 wood with a heavy 90 plus gram X flex shaft, hard to find for cheap. Correct. I mean, to be fair, yours is, again, very specific. The only thing I would say is that find the head, and then find the shaft. So for example, if you want a 90 gram um, X-Flex shaft, go and buy that as a standalone shaft, you'll probably pick up with 40 quid, um, and then obviously make sure it's got the adapter for the correct head. So for example, if you want to go down Callaway, then obviously make sure you get a Callaway adapter. You'll probably have to be a bit more fiddly, David, but there's a bargain out there for you. I don't know what your budget is, but for example, for what you're looking for, I'd say 80 to 90 pounds is a good price for whatever it is. Um, and then you can sell the counterparts. So for example, the spare shaft, and then obviously save yourself a bit of money. Uh, um, Jason says, Odyssey putter and a 60 degree wedge, all the used putters are going for 50 plus US dollars. Putters hold their value, like at the end of the day, if it's a lump of metal and the end of the stick, is a putter, therefore there's some value in that. Like a putter's never gonna be cheaper than 25 pounds, ever. Like if it's in good condition, got a grip, got a shaft, got a handle, it's a putter. Um, uh, again, just trying to find, Odyssey putters again hold their value, just like I said earlier. I'd look at the two ball route. Um, and 60 degree wedge, again, to be fair, um, uh, who was it that said earlier? Lee said, Cleveland wedge is a great cheap wedge to look for. I wouldn't go CBX, that's a bit newer, um, if you're looking for cheaper, but any Cleveland wedge, good grooves, you're gonna be in the right area. Okay, Arch makes a good point here. Irons for a mid-high handicap golfer with high club head speed, game improvement irons are trampolines, and player irons are not forgiving. Now, this is why I'd suggest. I would go and get less forgiving clubs because you obviously just started the game. If you're a mid to high handicap golfer with a high club head speed, the high club head speed means that you're gonna be coming down from mid to high. I imagine that you've only just started playing the game or recently, year or two. Um, yes, game improvement irons are not for you because you swing it too fast. However, I'd go less forgiving because you're gonna to have to learn. You're gonna to have to get better. You're gonna to have to start finding the middle more. Um, and if you've got that high club head speed, control is more what you're after, not forgiveness. You're gonna to have to learn to find the middle of the club face. Again, I'd go tightless AP2s like as a, like a cross gap. Um, uh, in terms of finding good irons. AP2, 712, 40 pitch and wedge. This is what you want. I know it's still 165 pounds. You'd be able to find cheaper. You'd probably be able to find 710s for like 100 quid. But that's probably what I'd recommend. It's gonna give you some forgiveness, but at the same time, you don't need forgiveness. You just need to practice. But the good thing is you've got club A speed, which is amazing. You just need to harness it and um, get used to obviously using it under control. Okay, last one to finish off with, Tara. Any ladies clubs, more specifically Callaway Irons. So Tara, first of all, thank you for watching the channel. We need to get more women watching this channel, looking at my analytics, um, but thank you for watching. Let's have a look, ladies clubs, more specifically Callaway Irons. So let's just look at Callaway ladies irons, see what you've got going on there. Now, even in the normal market, brand new, ladies haven't got much choice, which is, a Big shame in terms of what they can actually um, uh, get in terms of fitting and everything else. But looking at this, I mean, these aren't that bad. I know that, I don't know why they're sponsored, but obviously someone wants to get rid of them. Six Sandwich, Callaway, XR, Razor X, I should say. And they graphite, what shaft they got in them? See, like that there, 130 quid, you can't go wrong. 
To be honest, forget ladies. Tara, if you're looking for clubs, just type in light graphite. Like if I typed in light flex, flex, irons, and see what that brings up. Let's put in graphite as well. This is bearing in mind, Tara, that you've got a swing speed for graphite irons. There's no reason why you should not be in steel if you've got the swing speed for it. Um, uh, so, right, now, light flex, six pitch, and F max. This is better. Forget ladies, forget everything else. Light flex, seniors, if you've got the swing speed for it, for example, this is better because you've got tons more options now to obviously look for. There's a lot more bargains. These Yonex clubs are an absolute believable great club. I know they're a bit old, um, but this here right here, again, for the more advanced player, I know they're 300-odd pounds, but if you're looking for a great set of clubs to basically last you for the next eight years, that's them right there. And you're not going to get that if you type in ladies. If you type ladies and whatever into golf and irons, you're just going to get nothing. So just type in regular flex graphite, light flex graphite, um, uh, look on the length because you don't want them too long for you. Um, and that's what I'd probably go down the route of. But then just, again, keep updating them, having a look. These Cobra Biocell irons, again, great option for yourself. Um, uh, that's where you're just going to get more options. And to be honest, and if you don't get on with them, then just resell them because they're going to hold their value. Awesome. So guys, there you have it. I hope that all made a lot of sense. Thank you ever so much for watching. As I say, if you like this video, we're definitely up for doing more of them. Just leave this video a like and comment down below what kind of bargain or anything that you're looking for. And I'm more than happy to do this again. We're going to search for those good deals out there. Guys, stay safe. Hope everyone's trying to stay away from boredom. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one.